Oh, man, I hate Mondays. Nah, man, it's Tuesday. Wait, 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 what day is it? You know what day it is. Tuesday. Bruce Day Tuesday. Oh, fuck yeah! It's time for Bruce Day Tuesday. Brought to you by the Cellar and Six Pack Store. Here is Dresden Huck. Oh, crispy critters. It is a crispy critter Tuesday. <laughs> Brought to you by the Cellar <laughs> Restaurant and Six Pack Store in downtown Blacksburg. Uh, I think it's time to start with our Christmas beers, Huck. You know, usually we do, it's almost like an entire month of them. Merry freaking Christmas. We're cutting it down. We're starting not till <laughs> mid-December now. So this is, a, this is a good start for us. But we got, so we're going to do two weeks of it. Mm -hmm. And this is the first round. You handed me from Two Roads... Two uh, roads. To we our like good roads. friends, Holiday Ale, Beer de Noel uh, from the Two Roads crew. So I'm assuming this is just a nice ale. It doesn't I'm really a, specify a, what kind I'm, it is. I'm thinking it's a Beardy Guard. A Beardy Guard? A Beardy Guard, which is one of my favorite styles out of Germany. Oh, so instead of Beer de Guard, it says Beer de right, Noel. Right, and they probably okay. threw some spices in there, but it's going to be malty, yummy, Pleasurable trip. Seven point three percent. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Beer not, to guard. Not too shabby. Is a good beer. So what I have here, and then I, we both have interesting beers. Let's hope they're good. I have the Einstock Icelandic Doppelbach from Iceland. Ooh. And, and we did a show last year, I think, with a couple beers. My friend went to Iceland and brought us a couple beers. So this is the same brewery, and it's, this is a Doppelbach, and it says it's uh, got malted barley, chocolate tones. That define the traditional style, but they're also have added some holiday adventures. You, so let's see what's going on with this. this. I'm assuming you've never been to Iceland. No, it's on my... Okay, that's not true. Yes, I have been to Iceland. You have? I was on a plane that was delayed for three hours out of England, and because it was late, and when they finally put us on the plane, it was filthy. So they flew from England to Iceland and loaded us off the plane and cleaned it. And put us back on, and we came home because it's so, not far. You didn't get a passport stamp, I, and no, and I did not even get to hardly look. You couldn't; see, it was night. You didn't see the didn't the, see anything. You didn't see the uh, northern lights. No, or, uh, and that's another thing on my bucket list. So Iceland and northern lights are both definitely on my bucket list, but I have to wait till you know all the BS goes away so I can get there without any yeah, trouble. International travel is a little bit. Yeah. Uh, it's all, it's already a pain in the ass, but man, they're right. really making if I, it. If I can drive there, I'm good. <laughs> Other than that, not so much. Yeah, but, but anyway. Yeah. But I was just curious because, like, I mean, I've never been. I, I got a buddy that they've they went to Iceland on vacation and loved it so much they've been going like every year since. Um, I mean, pre COVID, I guess. Um, but uh, but yeah, I'm just curious what because when it comes to the beer scene, I mean, we're a little we're spoiled in oh, America. Oh, spoiled rotten, yeah, um, absolutely. But, you know, when I was in Scotland earlier this year, I, you know, there was definitely, we went to a few different breweries. You know, there are out and about, but I am just kind of curious what it, what the brewery scene is in different countries. I'm sure Iceland probably has a few, clearly. I mean, some of it's already even came this far. Yeah, and I mean, this this place, I think, is pretty well known. I've heard of them. Einstock. Anyway, they, um, but mm. I was some down, run some rabbit hole on the internet, and I saw this guy in Iceland surfing, basically walking through. Wearing a full wetsuit. I think you would need to if you're walking surfing Walking through in the snow to get to the ocean, and there's like four of them out there surfing, and I'm like... That's crazy. That's really cool not doing it. Yeah. It's I, not, not I don't think do I would do that But either. I would drive on that road. I would like to have my Jeep, but I would ride on the road they were on. It just goes on forever along the ocean front. Yeah. It's speaking, very, very cool. Speaking of your Jeep, I saw you, uh, I saw it all decked uh, out and, and... In the parade. In the Blacksburg. Did you just do this Blacksburg parade with all the, the Jeep club, I guess, yes. or whatever it is? Yeah, there's a couple more that I could have done, but I also parked it out in front of the house at Pembroke Parade, so the parade got to see me not in the parade. Mm. My Jeep. Oh, I, okay. There you go. So we did that too. Yeah, you probably did better on the Blacksburg Parade than I, because you know I have the bear the bear van doors open, blaring the music, and then when it gets to that part, like in front of PKs, where it dwindles right. down. I guess it, it's this. It was a whole gonna, block. You're gonna hit a kid. Well, I'm, I've got and I'm just film like, of that, I'm and I'm creeping. gonna put it up in the next couple weeks. They need to do something about yeah, that. Yeah, that's it's, just it's bad. bad. What? And then they finally they have the barricade that they put up. 
to stop people, you know, but it doesn't go all the way. Mm -hmm. But then once you get to the barricade, I'm like, okay, great. I have breathing room. But no, now there's still some kids that are in front of the barricade. It's like, what are y'all doing? Yeah, once you get... PKs is not so bad, but once you get to that yeah, light. Yeah, just past that. Exactly. And then it went for a whole block. Yeah. I mean, extended it's usually not on, that long. Yeah, extended I past the go, next light. I had to go so slow because I was worried about hitting kids and stuff that by the time I got through it and I looked up, I was probably a solid block behind me. Yeah. Like, there was just a huge gap in the parade because I just couldn't do it. Well, anything. we were, too, and I mean, it's the same just, kind of it's thing. It's ridiculous. And then I had it in low range, and I didn't, you know... If you're a Jeep owner, you know what I'm talking about. You get it in low range, and you can't, like, you have to stop to put it back into high range. And the odds are pretty good it's going to go when you do that. So you just don't do it in front of a crowd. So I had to leave it in low range, Uh, (laughs) and so I couldn't catch up. Yeah. Oh, man. It was probably, like you said, a block and a half to the next people from me. Yeah, that being said, like always, it, it is fun seeing out there everybody in the holiday spirit. And well, I was dressed as Santa, basically. You're, you're not allowed to do that. I know, but I had on a Santa hat. Well, everybody does. Right? And Yeah, but I look like Santa. A little bit. And at least 150 kids went, Santa, <sighs> Santa. <laughs> and so I was throwing candy. But was, the truth is, I am Santa. A right? little known, less, little a little known, known fact. People don't know that. He, so don't uh, try to find me on Christmas Eve. I'm going to be busy. Yeah, a little busy. A little busy. Uh, speaking of Christmas Eve, you got anything? Uh, you going to have the normal Christmas? Or we're what's, what we're is, still what's negotiating. Like we got the new baby out there. Mm-hmm. We got the old baby who's eight. So we got to figure out. But we'll you know, probably go here and there. And then hopefully by the 26th, 27th, I'll be headed somewhere south where it's nice and warm for a week or two. In the RV, it's not the a beer bad, V. Not a bad. Uh, That's my plan. Not a bad game plan. I gotta do it. Strangely enough, I gotta do a little work, even though I'm retired in the next week or two. But then, you know, I'm still not working that hard. And then, you know, I intend to fully relax for the holidays. Actually, re- oh no, just re- just for the holidays. Just for the holidays, and then yeah. we'll be back. I mean, yeah, it's not you know mostly. You know, I'm gearing up to work on my Huck Was Here situation we've talked yeah, about. Yeah, did you get the website? I did get the <laughs> website. I, only got, yeah, I got it back. I only got one post on it, so I got to get that going. You're really selling the website. Go go check out Huck's one post. Yeah, go check it out. It just says I'm coming soon. Coming soon. <laughs> Huck Was Here. I actually, I did, because uh, I know that you're talking, you're doing the Huck Was Here, so I looked, and I was just like, oh, I need to... I think it was, I guess it I think was you last. Followed me. Yeah, I guess it was yeah. last week when I was tagging you, Huck's yeah. beer buzz. I was just like, oh, what are you doing? Huck was here, so let me do that. I was just like, oh, Your I'll be the two. I was the two, second yeah. follower. Well, I haven't even advertised it. I mean, I'm gonna wait. You know. Well, I'm glad I got in at the ground floor. You, you did. You're early. You'll be number two. You're number two. <laughs> number two. <laughs> number two. Um, I t- I'll tell you what, speaking of two, man, this two roads holiday ale, man, you weren't fooling. This is delicious. Mm-hmm. And I honestly, I think, I guess now that I'm thinking about it, I believe this is my first Christmas beer of the season. I've, I've sort of tried to withheld. I know you gave me that, the Christmas crack. It's sitting in my fridge. I've tried to resist and have so far. So uh, I'm glad that this is my first holiday beer because this is awesome, man. Like you said, it's got some nice uh, spices in there. I'd like to I'd like to be able to say same about that, but we had everybody over for the Pembroke Parade to our place, and uh, we sorted out beers a couple weeks ago here, and I ended up with like you had a couple eight leftovers. beers that we're not going to drink on the show. So we had our own little Christmas tasting. So are, had- are you going to do the uh, twelve beers of Christmas? Um, no, that I didn't do that this year. You mean on the internet? Well, no, I mean, just, I remember once, like, you invited me. You said usually everybody brings beers and it's just a big beer tasting. I guess we could still do that. Well, I don't know. I mean, with COVID and all. Oh, I'm okay with that. You did it? Did you do it last year? Uh, we did it amongst family, but your family. Okay. Well, let me yeah, know. Like a, Pencil. Pencil in a date and let me know yeah, when it is. Yeah, let's figure that out. Yeah, we'll do that. that. That was fun. The one t- I've only done it the one time, but right. it was a lot of fun. Uh, all those people and we just yeah, just beers galore, just all these delicious beers, and it was great because you just get a little taste of them. Because well, a lot of them do, are big ABVs. We ought to look out in the future, the next couple of weeks, and pick a warm day, and we can do it on the deck so that people are nervous about the 
Okay, would you pretty safe outside? That's a good point. I mean, I don't know. I, I would. I have a one of those you would giant think top that the hat warm heaters. days are past us, but every no. time I think they're done, the next thing I look well, at the forecast well, and it, it says mid sixties. What was it seventy last Saturday? I yeah, think it's, it was. It's crazy, dude. It yeah. re- it really I mean, is. What but the heck? I digress. It doesn't mean it's too early for holiday ales. In fact, now I think is the perfect time. Mm-hmm. So I'm glad we popped this from Two Roads. There. Holiday Ale Beer de Noel. It's going to get. What's it going to get? I bet it gets a high score. I'm going to give it a five. There you go. First holiday beer, and it's a damn good one right out of the gate. Right this out is, of the gate. This is delicious. I'm going to hold it up to all those watching on the Facebook or or uh, uh, YouTube. Yeah, I love the get yourself, can, too. Get yourself some of this. It's a very festive can. You can't mistake it. I think that's it. like the only one we're doing this year that we did. Last year, I think. Did we do this yeah, one I last year? Yeah, I think we did do this one last year. Okay, so yeah, so i.e. that means we're, we're, not, we're not doing anyway. Christmas crack on the air. We're not doing Mad Elf. It's going to be all fresh new Christmas beers. So this one is Einstock Oldberg, and it's a Doppelbach, Icelandic Doppelbach, and 6.7% by alcohol. Alcohol by volume. By alcohol. Bye-bye. <laughs> mm. uh, now, you know... You know, I'm I'm trying to cut back on my drinking, so this is my first beer in a couple of days. I know you told me. Yeah, so this is um, it's tasting damn good. Really, really good. <laughs> uh, again, I, but I can't quite give it a five, even though I should. I'm gonna give it a four seventy five, and I'll I'll tell you. Curb why. it because okay, yeah, please a little tell us over why. carbonated. Over carbonated. Yeah, a little was bit. The... I don't know how that happened. Ah. A little bit hot on the tongue. You also got to imagine it's traveled afar, mm-hmm. you know. So, but uh, that's yeah. But uh, over carbonation wouldn't that wouldn't be a factor? That wouldn't be from no, travel. No, that's not from travel. So I, I mean, I'd say this is a really good beer. Four seven five. I mean, four seven five is a really good beer. It's just yeah. not a five. It's just not. It's not, not a, five. a five. It's a Doppelbach. You know, it's okay. not a five. Well, we'll see if we can go up from here. Uh, we'll play a christmas tune i guess it's, uh, it's that time go. of year i'm happy to th- do you have a preference you know do you have a favorite rocky christmas you know, i always tune? like the ones you know that you're not supposed to play like you know baby it's cold outside yeah or the what's the one the santa bring me the you know, santa baby santa baby that's probably my favorite i'm just wondering if i have a rock i bet i could find some sort of version of that i thought i heard one on your radio station well i think i'm sure i've ha- i'm sure you've requested this in the past yeah, i thought i heard it the to other try, day on there but it might have been on another radio station. all right well, we'll I do ride around a bit we'll try and get the most controversial christmas there you go that's what i like and then we'll come back and we'll drink some more christmas beers it's bruise day tuesday right here on 105.3 the bear